welcome back to my channel if you are new an even bigger welcome i'm weirdly filming this little an intro and it, i'm gonna keep it really short and really sweet but i'm weirdly filming this at the very end as i have filmed the whole vlog and i've already edited most of it but i thought i'll pop in a little intro just to say welcome back thank you for coming back i hope you enjoy this vlog i actually really like this vlog it's just i don't know one of probably one of my favorites i look back and edit yeah i hope you enjoy i've just got back it is 8 p.m i'm exhausted i am now i've just so i've done a gym class i'm now going to open some packages which i got for skiing which i'm really excited about we go um next week so i am um, i'm out of breath bloody hell because i lugged this from my concierge which is uh isn't close to make myself a chicken noodle soup you're gonna think i'm really weird but i also i'm obsessed with these organic mini ot bites for babies i buy them for myself and i have them with a cup of tea in the afternoon because they've got barely any calories in and they're organic and they're really nice i'm gonna make a chicken noodle soup have a salt bath and call it a night let's take down my christmas tree so i have actually just bought which isn't very interesting um some plastic boxes some storage boxes to put all the christmas decorations in <laughs> some more coffee pods which because i've decided i'm gonna try sorry the state of me today is just not okay but i have decided that i'm gonna try normally i like get up in the morning and i go to the gym and get a coffee or like i'll go to gales and it's like three pound fifty four pounds oh my god you know when you get an itchy eye like right in the end of it it's like the nicest thing when you itch it doing that every day i've worked out really does add up so part of my new year's resolution was to drink coffee at home and not spend money on like coffee and taxis and deliveries. Not that I get deliveries that often, but still, I think things like that, like by stopping that kind of stuff does really help. They've actually sent me the wrong color boots. I did actually order the black boots from Holland and Cooper, but I don't know, what do you think? I kind of, mm, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to actually have to get them taken. I don't know. They're kind of growing on me. They're a bit different, but they are lovely. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to prefer the back ones, aren't I? So, after that lovely, lovely, delicious chicken soup, Sorry, it's so loud in here. I'm running myself a salt bath, um, which I recently got into, literally just salt. No bubble bath, nothing, because they actually, bubble baths have got a, re a lot more, most bubble baths, not all of them, have got a lot of really bad, like, ingredients in them. So it's actually not that good for you. And salt bath with magnesium, you need to get some of these of Amazon. They're magnesium plates and they are so good for you because we lack a lot of magnesium in our bodies. So I use this West Lab, which I just get off Amazon. I get all my salts of Amazon. And I get these West Lab ones. The pink Himalayan salt is really good for you as well. Because I just put them in pots just so the big ugly bags aren't out. I put those, tuck those away. And I put these in little like cute jars. Side of my bath. I am just about to leave to go to my first meeting today of the new year. I have 
three meetings today. Two of them are over Zoom, which is quite handy. And then one of them's actually really close to my flat. So I'm gonna walk there to get my steps in. Chucked on something really random. I'm just wearing boots, which I got years ago from like Miss Selfridge or something. These flares, which are from Revolve. This jacket, which is a Zara one, which I think the whole nation have, or at least half of the nation. And then I've got this on underneath which is just a jumper from and other stories just deciding on what bag to use i might not even take one is that a bit rubbish yeah you can't really turn up to a meeting with that bag. maybe i take that small one i feel like i might invest and get buy myself a new handbag comment below on what you think are like good handbag buys because i've been toying right so i wanted to buy a chanel bag i went online and they some of them were like eight thousand pounds and i was like I can't fathom it. I haven't even bought myself a property yet. So I'm thinking maybe not a Chanel, although it is an investment really because the price of it never goes down. It holds its value. Maybe I just get like, I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't really get anything, should I? Probably not. It's just been Christmas. I need to ignore me. Right, to my first meeting and I will catch up with you guys once I'm back. I'm back from my meetings. Honestly, they went so well. And to be honest, I'm actually just so excited now for 2023. I've just been sitting here. If you could honestly see the desk right now, I've got so much stuff going on, but I'm doing what I do every year. And I'm making my new, I've got to make my new vision board. I've sent my goals um, over to my agency. So I've just signed with a brand new agency, which is so exciting. So they know all my goals and kind of what I want to achieve. I have so many different like avenues and things that I'm doing that it's quite difficult because I have like obviously my YouTube, I have my Instagram stuff, so I have all the stuff with my agency, I have Made in Chelsea, and then I have Bikini Bible as well, and anything else that I'm kind of getting my fingers into. That's not the right saying, is it? I'm getting my my fingers in the pies. Anyway, you know what I mean. So I'm kind of like it's really hard to I'm separating all the different goals for all the different things. So like I've got separate goals for Bikini Bible. I've got goals for what I want to achieve with my agency and matchstick and kind of where they can get me. I've got goals for personal achievements, you know, like my goals weirdly for like my own personal achievements are things like gymming more, obviously like little things. It's like little goals as well. They're targets. Sorry, I think my camera's really dirty. Yeah, they're more of like targets, should we say. So I wanna save X amount in an account. I wanna be more in the present. I need my concentration span to improve because honestly, guys, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I think TikTok might have, and like Reels, might have made my attention span really bad. Comment below if you're having the same as me, but I really struggle to con. I mean, I've been terrible at concentrating anyway the whole of my life. It's never been a thing for me. I'm, I'm like a fish. Um, I get bored very easy, and you can probably see it in these videos. Sometimes I'm chatting away, and then I'm like, and I just go into the. I, I, well, I notice it when I edit it, and sometimes I edit it out my videos because I'm literally just staring into the distance, and my brain just goes completely foggy. It's really bizarre, but I think it's got worse as I've got older. Maybe it's alcohol, but maybe it could be. Um, <laughs> I'm blaming TikTok and Reels, to be honest with you. So yeah, this afternoon I'm sitting down, I'm doing all my goals for all my separate things, I'm making my new brand new vision board, and yeah, I'm just super excited for this year, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me along the journey, it's going to be incredible, I've got a great feeling about it, and I'm just manifesting it, so... Fingers crossed, everyone. I was listening to a podcast as well, and the guy was saying like, you know, you need to... 10x your goals like make them almost seem you know you've got your short-term goals are your targets so they're ones that you can achieve in your lifetime or you know put a time time on it however your goals you should never ever ever put a timer on it so like you shouldn't be like i need to do this by the end of the year because that you know you can achieve like you want like for example i want three million pounds worth of property real estate but that won't happen in a year. That might not even happen like 10 years, 15 years, who knows? But there's no timestamp on it. So that's another thing to basically 
Don't put any timers on your goals. Put timers on your targets, so like your weekly targets and your weekly goals. You know, things you need to get done, things you want to achieve in the week. But your big goals, 10x them. Make them big. Believe in yourself. Manifest it. And you're going to get there. I reckon we'll all do it. I have faith with all of us. I'm currently sitting here eating my baby snacks, which again is totally weird. But honestly, they're so good. This one is a raspberry and apple mini oat bite. And it just says they're like, because they're for babies, they've got, they're, all, they're organic. They have no junk food and nothing artificial in them. And they taste really good. So I thought, why not? And I'm a bit obsessed with them now. Not me eating baby food the whole way through 2023. That with a cup of tea. Oh my god. Delightful. Okay, next task of today. A bit dry. The fact that I'm chewing on camera and I'm going to have to edit this back because it's going to give me the ick. That whole scenario just really icked me out. Sorry, it probably did the same to you guys. Um, anyway, I'm now going to crack on. I'm uploading, by the way, a new YouTube whilst I'm videoing this. So we're doing well. And I'm about to take down my Christmas decorations and put all of them away. It is time. The time is now. <laughs> I like it or not i miss christmas already i actually feel quite organized i put it all into these boxes really neatly so none of them get damaged because like i said in my previous vlog i did spend a fair amount of money on these baubles so i've like wrapped all the expensive ones up in bubble wrap as well i've placed everything away even put away and wrapped up my christmas mugs oh gosh that was exhausting though my god christmas 2022 is officially over for another year Oh God, God knows where I'm going to be next year. Am I going to be in this flat? Am I going to be in my own place? Am I going to be somewhere else? You just never know. 2023 vision board has been made. And I do always show you this, what I do make on my vision board. I basically just go onto Pinterest and create like loads of different things that I love, that I want to keep up, that I aim for to do. And it's just a good way to visualize it. And then I set it as my background on my laptop so I can see it every day and it just gives me a little reminder and it's just a nice way to basically just remind yourself and have some like visualization and goals so obviously I've got like working want to have my own office and continue doing work some really nice quotes here I've got Italy because my plan this year is I really want to go to Italy and New York this is just like I don't know to stay in love <laughs> let's try this year um to not have any dramatic relationship situations which i'm sure i won't um traveling reading a book because i never read books um playing games and just like enjoying myself with jordan vitamins healthy food love perfect nails and french manicure this is going to continue this year i like this one to do live in the moment because at the moment i'm not doing that um, I'm, I'm struggling to live in the moment and that's one of my major major things this year is just to enjoy myself and live in the moment and then finally drink your lemon water so yeah there we have it I am gymmed I am steamed saunered makeup done hair washed it's Friday morning well actually no it's Friday afternoon now and I'm making my mum some lunch she's coming up to see me I need her to help me with some work <laughs> So I said I bribe her in with me cooking her some lunch. Today, I'm making a free pasta with red onion and broccoli. You just put a tiny little bit of pesto in it and some mozzarella. And it is really, really good. 
just got back from dinner. It's Friday evening, first weekend of no drinking, and I absolutely love it. Like, I'm gonna feel so fresh tomorrow. I've got such a good little day planned with the girls. I'm going for a big long walk. And we're going to Battersea Power Station for brunch. I'm gonna do some shopping, and then I'm gonna come home and outfit plan because I've got a photo shoot on Monday. Some gifting delivered. Just thought it would be a nice way to end this video. Honestly, these bathroom things that he, whoever owns this flat, that decided to like put these bathroom cabinets, what they look like on the wall, it just, it, it irritates me every single day, but it is in, in fact what gives me the motivation to be like, I cannot wait for my own place so I can like take things down and restructure the whole thing and just like make it mine because I would do things so differently. Also, I'm crouching down because I haven't got a tripod, so I'm literally balancing this camera on boxes. I think these are the black version of the Holland and Cooper boots that I ordered because the brown ones I do like and they're good for like water that they would look cool but I just I know I would wear black more why is everything I do just doesn't go to me the Holland Cooper packaging by the way is so lovely they have really good equestrian stuff as well so I'm starting horse riding this year again it's my one of my other new year's resolutions is to start horse riding and I'm gonna get some of their equestrian things as well look you get like a whole shoe bag like the quality is actually amazing if you like country vibes oh my god yes these are way more me look how lovely they are love these they smell amazing as well oh my gosh see these are, I'm gonna wear these way more. Okay, I'm happy with this. Thank you very much, Holland and Cooper. No, it's not Holland and Cooper, is it? It's Holland and Cooper. I always call it Holland and Cooper. Napco, no, is it called the Napco? Yeah, they also sent me some cute little things, which is so sweet. Aw, a little bag, how nice is that? such nice packaging wow i've never had anything from these guys before but they dropped me a little dm on instagram and i thought i'd like to try their stuff so let's see what it's like oh wow it's very 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 soft but they've sent me some bras and then i think these are like almost like the skims body suits but oh, they feel great oh that's quite nice it's probably very tight and fitting but I like that. They're lovely. And then I think these are the bras, which I love wearing like comfy, sporty bra type things. Oh, they're very, very soft. And the material is amazing. But that's that. Oh, my phone's now ringing. So thank you, the Napo. Hello, baby girl. I've also ordered off Amazon I've got some really random Amazon orders as well which I've been I've been non-stop on Amazon this week I've ordered some coconut sugar because I'm gonna replace my sugar caster sugar with organic coconut sugar because it's way better for you than normal sugar I got this off Amazon it's a whole foods direct from the farm seven hill Seven Hill, yeah, it's organic coconut sugar. So if you guys like your sugars in teas and coffees, like I do, change it for coconut, because it's far better for you. I also ordered some makeup brush cleaner, because I need to clean my makeup brushes and I've run out of makeup brush cleaner. So this is part of my Amazon order, the rest hasn't been delivered yet, but I have ordered some more really random things. Um, including some camera equipment because I'm really taking this YouTube stuff seriously these days. Oh, and these are my what my boots look like on. I've just tried them on. <laughs> I absolutely love them. What do you reckon? I actually think they're so nice. Also going to round this vlog up just because I I'm just banging them out at the moment and I'm very much I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little start the new year vlog with me. Um, and I hope it's also given any of you guys inspirational goals, achievements, maybe a bit of motivation. Um, 
but yeah let's smash 2023 and i can't wait next video is going to be a q a with jordan i'm gonna get him to do a q a on the vlog so please comment any questions that you guys want to know down below and i will read them out and answer them on our q a hopefully i'll film it next week if i can drag him into a video with me and find the time but yeah he's already agreed to it which is good news um so yeah comment below any questions lots of love